Hey guys, Zot here. Druids are one of the most unique healers in the game, having numerous forms and different affinities, as well as strong healing over time effects and even good crowd control, which can make them incredibly hard to play against, especially in 2v2. Well, don't worry, we've hit up Druid veteran Min Poike, considered by many one of the best Druids in the world, and asked him to share his top 5 ways to counter his spec of choice. Welcome to knowing your enemy. Our first tip is to play around their affinity. Druids have free affinities which grant them unique spells based on which affinity that they've picked. For restoration, these are Guardian, Feral and Balance. Identifying and knowing how to play around these affinities is key to beating restoration druids. Let's start off with Guardian Affinity. The abilities druids get unique with this affinity are Thrash, Iron Fur and most importantly Frenzied Regeneration. Not only that though, when picked, Guardian Affinity grants a passive 6% damage reduction. You can easily identify if the Druid is playing this by noticing any three of these abilities being used, or just noticing that the Druid isn't inside of cat form. When a Druid is Guardian Affinity, it means that they're far less desirable as a target, due to all the defensive capabilities that this affinity provides. This means you ideally want to focus on their partners if you see the Druid is playing this, as it means that they're going to be offering far less offensively. Feral Affinity on the other hand is all about aggression, and offers Druids Rake, Rip, Ferocious Bite and Swipe, and passively increases their movement speed as well as energy regeneration in cat form. The best way to identify if a Druid is playing this is if you see them inside of cat form dealing damage, but most importantly if you see a rake applied, which is the ability that stuns you when used from stealth, as well as being a small bleed if used outside of stealth. If a Druid is using this affinity, it means that they're going to bring a lot in terms of damage, and also the ability to stun if they're allowed to consistently get restealths. But not only that, they're a very good target to hit, as they lack all the defensive capabilities of Guardian Affinity. Most importantly though, when you see this affinity, preventing the Druid getting any restealths is key to stopping their overall pressure and their utility. And last up is Balance Affinity. This one you'll rarely see, but is sometimes taken up against mages. This grants the Druid Moonkin form and some increased range, which when used gives them immunity to Polymorph and the ability to cast their Dispel, Regrowth and even Cyclone whilst inside of the form, which can be a great counter to mages. If you see a Druid play in this, then they're going to lack both the survivability of Guardian and the offensive pressure and utility of Feral. Needless to say, identifying the Druid's affinity and playing around it will greatly increase your win chances. A Restoration Druid's entire healing arsenal is mainly built around healing over time effects, and even their single target healing is based off the amount of hots they have out due to their mastery. Purge has always been the bane of Druid's existence since before I can remember, and has always been the number one tool to counter them. The easiest way to build up pressure is simply looking to purge the healing over time effects of your main kill target. It's often the case for newer players to heavily underestimate just how good this is. Purge obviously doesn't do any damage, so it can feel like you're not really doing much. Well, that's all in your head. Purge is always going to be your most efficient button to press when facing a druid. Rejuvenation, Germination and especially Life Blooms are all great buffs to look to purge from your kill target. Not only does it reduce the druid's healing, but it will also cost them a ton of globals to put back up, especially if you purge them at their Life Blooms, as you're essentially trading your one global for their free. Not only is it going to net you a ton of pressure though, but it's also heavily taxing on the druid's mana bar, something that they struggle a lot with right now. Healing over time effects are not the only thing you should look to be purging though. Soul of the Forest is the Druid's best way at recovering when behind on healing. Provided by Swiftmend, Soul of the Forest will buff the healing of their next regrowth or rejuvenation by a ton, and is what gives them those huge regrowths you often see. This is something you should again always be looking to purge, so if you have access to a purge on your team, make sure you abuse it. Alright then, so what if you don't have a purge on your team? Well, that brings us to number 3, swapping targets. If you don't have access to a purge, this is going to be your best bet at scoring kills against restoration druids. As mentioned, druids rely heavily on their healing over time effects, 
So if you can't get rid of them, the best way to combat this is going to be changing targets. Why this is so effective is that druids lack any way of instantly recovering their teammates. And when applying their healing over time effects, consistently on different targets not only will make them fall heavily behind but once again is heavily taxing on their mana bar. This applies to 3v3 and 2v2. If you see a druid having full hots on the target, especially life blooms, then look to swap targets. This tip is especially useful when playing cleaves that can easily swap targets. Druids are one of the most aggressive healers in the game bringing a ton of crowd control with Cyclone, Bash, and the ability to go into cat form and deal good damage. Even the ability to go into stealth and stun their targets if playing with Feral Affinity. Whilst this may seem incredibly annoying to play against and give off the impression Druids are overpowered, it's often something that they're required to do in order to win, as a lot of their strength is tied into their aggression and their offensive nature. Although, when playing like this, a druid is at their most vulnerable. Let's take Feral Affinity for example. To make the most out of it, a druid has to be in melee range inside of a form without any bonus armor, and whilst doing so, are unable to heal or even maintain their healing over time effects. So, what you should be looking to do is instantly hitting the druid and looking to capitalize on his aggression which in turn will cause him to fall behind on healing. The same goes for a druid looking to Cyclone. In doing so, he's not healing. And as Cyclone is only a 20 yard range, more than likely he's going to be sacrificing his position to do so. And in doing so, he's also opening himself up to interrupts, as Cyclone is on the same school of magic as all of a druid's heals. Most importantly though, when making aggressive plays, the druid is not inside of bear form, and this is where they're most vulnerable. Needless to say, the easiest way to kill a druid is whilst they're playing aggressive, so look to punish it. And our fifth and final tip to deal with restoration druids is all about thorns. Take it away, Joe. Oh, look, he has thorns again. Oh, oh. Thorns is one of Restoration Druid's biggest tools to combat melee, dealing insane damage and even slowing targets hit. Well, the damage of this is often underestimated, and if you find yourself consistently dying versus Druids as a melee, this is probably the reason why. Thorns can be applied to any target on the Restoration Druid's team, and for every time you hit that target, you will take damage. Well, don't worry, there are a few counters to this ability. Obviously, you can either swap targets, pause your damage, or look to purge it. But Warriors and Windwalkers can counter this ability by either using Touch of Karma or Spell Reflect, which not only prevents the damage, but will also reflect the damage you take back to the opponent. Whilst the damage Fawns deals is magical, so it can also be absorbed by Anti-Magic Shell, reduced by Diffuse Magic, and of course immune by Cloak of Shadows. Alright then guys, that's going to be our top 5 tips in order to counter Restoration Druids. Hope this was useful, and be sure to let us know what class you want to see next. Thanks for watching.